Awesome. I'm Ariane and I'm with Fresh Pair of Eyes. Hi, Rory. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. So your background is in comedy. How is it like to lean more into the dramatic side with this role? Uh, it's very refreshing. It's so fun to do, knowing that I've been, you know, doing stand up and, and, improv, and improv for uh, God, almost 20 years now to, to get to step into a role that's a little more dramatic and, and serious while still having some, you know, tinges of, of comedy here and there. Like it's, it's a great relief and I'm, I'm thrilled to get to do it for another season. For sure. So speaking of the seniors, Danny's kind of on a different journey this season. He's trying to be a better father, better husband, but he's also not feeling as attached to his social justice issues as he usually does. How was it like going on that journey with him? And how was it like to play him this season? I think it's more uh, closely uh, related to my own personal life as a father and a husband. So it was something I could draw on to to sort of know the insecurities of that place, you know, those are two jobs that I don't really know how to how to do perfectly. And so to kind of get to take Danny into that is is great. Uh, and, you know, coming out of season one with all the rejection and not really knowing where to go uh, in his in his career and in his life, I think there's something great about simplifying it and go, all right, we'll be a better person to your to your family. Um, I, I think it makes his personal story throughout the season a little more uh, interesting and closer to something I can relate to. For sure. So how do you feel like Danny is handling Sheena, Sheila leading into the business and putting herself first? I think there is uh, some unspoken animosity about it, but I, I think he, I, 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 I believe that Danny's kind of impressed uh, with what she's done. I think it is pretty remarkable. And I, I don't think it's lost on him to know like, wow, this is an accomplishment, but it is the kind of attention and admiration that he wishes he was getting in his, you know, uh, activism and his political pursuits and he's not getting it. So I think there's a little bit of having to confront his own ego and, and try to put that away and be supportive of, of her success. And I think he walks a fine line with it for sure. How was it like to do the aerobics routine this season? Because you do join Sheila at one point in time to do the pretty, workout. Pretty exhausting. I'm pretty out of shape. So to shoot that first take, I was like, all right, I got to start working out again. But um, it was cool. I, I really wanted to try to figure out how to pull it off where it comes across as sincere and, and not like sort of uh, silly and offbeat and bad. So it was it's kind of fun to do. And also I'm not great at aerobics. So trying to make it not look good was very easy to do. Came from a very natural place. <laughs> How many takes did you guys have to do? Um, I think uh, the getting both of our coverage, I, I don't know, maybe, I think we maybe did that dance seven or eight times somewhere in that ballpark. So you were good on your cardio for like the next month. You were yeah, I, ca I counted that as my cardio for the next month. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you say is kind of your favorite 80s look? Um, I got to say probably Judd Nelson Breakfast Club. Um, just because you don't see a lot of people tying the bandana around just different parts of their <laughs> limbs. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, just that look. I, I wish I had the confidence to, to dress like that and look like some sort of weird bully. <laughs> sure. And what would you say is your favorite 80s song? Because the soundtrack to the show has basically everyone. <laughs> yeah, well, I think it's a, the soundtrack show is amazing. Yeah, it's great. Um, I think for me, probably also from The Breakfast Club, Simple Minds, Don't You Forget About Me. Every time, hits me every time. So would it be fair to say that your favorite 80s movie is The Breakfast Club? It's actually Back to the Future. <laughs> <laughs> but I do love The Breakfast Club. <laughs> that is awesome to know. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to me. And best of luck with season two and fingers crossed for season three. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye.